Hello friends, today we shall derive the Fourier theory of heat conduction for 1D and obviously this is a for a rod. For this we draw first a heater and a rod connected with it. The heater acts as a heater source and the rod is situated along the x-axis. This is the heater and along the x-axis at distance x the temperature is theta we assumed and at x plus dx the temperature is theta plus d theta dx into dx ok now at x the temperature gradient at the point x the temperature gradient would be like x d theta dx and at x plus dx the temperature gradient would be some different and this would be like dx plus dx equal to d dx of theta plus d theta dx into dx ok Now see that heat come across the dx and get out of it and the heat that enters the section dx is the amount of heat enters the section dx is from equal to a minus k d theta dx from the theory of conduction of heat and heat removing or outcoming from leaving from dx section dx is minus k d dx of minus the gradient temperature gradient theta plus d, d theta of dx ok now heat that retained in the section dx would be the subtraction of these two values and it would be equal to q2 minus q1 here q1 equal to the first one and q2 is the first, second one quantity and we put the value of q1 and q2 After calculation, it would find out that equal to Ka d2 theta dx2 into dx. Now, this heat will be used in two parts. One is to increase the temperature of the material, and other to in radiation to the surrounding. And heat used in increase the temperature of the material would be equal to. rho a dx c into d theta dt here the quantity rho equal to the density of the material obviously of the rod a is the cross sectional area or surface or cross sectional area of the rod C is the specific heat of the material, obviously of the rod, and d theta dt is the rate of increase of temperature with respect to time. Now we change the pitch. And the other part of the heat, total heat would be used to in the radiation
इक्वल टू ई पी थीटा ई इंटू डी एक्स हेर इज द एमिशन पावर एम एस सी पावर ऑफ द मेटेरियल दैट इट हाउ मच द मेटेरियल एम इज एम इट हिट पी इज द सेक्शनल पैरामीटर थीटा इज द एक्सेस हिट ऑफ द मेटेरियल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द सराउंडिंग हिट और टेम्परेचर सॉरी टेम्परेचर एक्सेस टेम्परेचर विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू सराउंडिंग and now the total heat is equal to ka d2 theta dx2 into dx equal to heat used in radiation and plus it used to increase the temperature of the rod is the in the previous page is like that रो ए डी एक्स सी डिजिटल डी टी विल बी साम डू दैट एंड डू राइट इज एट लाइक दैट नाउ डिवाइडिंग द होल इक्वेशन बाय रो ए डी एक्स सी फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट and it will be on both after this it will be like that k a d2 theta by dx by rho a dx c into d2 theta dx2 equal to e p theta dx theta c by rho a dx c plus it will be cut cut and it will cancel out A A cancel out and D X D X cancel out. K Y rho C remain into D two theta by D X two equal to E P by rho A C. D X D X cancelled out. Theta I plus D theta D T. We assumed that K Y rho C. No sorry. Now we know that theta equal to theta x s plus theta surrounding. Or total theta equal to temp heat equal temperature equal to surrounding temperature plus excess temperature now derivative over it d theta dt equal to like this it happens because the temperature theta is equal to constant because the surrounding temperature is always constant for this specific time and for this this happens like that now we put this value on the equation theta e theta will be changed with theta e replaced equal to e p by rho a c into theta e plus d theta e by d t okay no problem now k by rho c is assumed to be h and it will be assumed to be mu and this is like that h d to theta e by d x two equal to mu theta e Plus d theta e dt. Now we we have to solution get the solution of this equation. To have this, we change the page. In steady state condition, in steady state mean when the all the transfer of heat is stopped and it. Comes to a steady state, and then d theta dt equal to zero. And putting this d theta dt equal to zero at equation number one, we get the d theta dt equal to zero. In equation number one, we will be get d two theta by dx two into h equal to mu theta e, or d two theta dx two. Equal to mu by h theta e, and we assume that sorry mu by h equal to m square to make it confident to solve to make the solution, and theta e obviously a e to the power m x plus b e to the power minus m x 